When I saw Grandad lying there, I panicked. The gunshot scared me. I, I didn't know what to do. So you went to find Andy Sugden? <laughs> Only for help. I didn't mean to get him in trouble. Why him? Well, I don't know. He got on. I thought I could trust him. I found his car, but he wasn't around. Then I heard police sirens. I, f I freaked out, and before I knew what I was doing, I hid the gun in the boot of his car. I wasn't thinking straight. So, you're saying there was a struggle, then the gun discharged accidentally, and then in your panic, you hid the evidence? Yeah. I suppose that's understandable, but what it doesn't explain is why you didn't come forward when Andy was arrested. Well, I was scared, sorry. It also doesn't explain the fragment of blue glass that we found in the boot of his car. What? How did that get there? It's a simple enough question. You're bullying the lad. Either that or he hasn't got a plausible answer. I have. A vase got smashed when I was struggling with my granddad. A bit must have got caught in my clothes when I was sweeping up. You're in a blind panic, yet you still have the presence of mind to fetch a dustpan and brush. I suppose I must have. I can't remember every last detail. Only the things that you want us to believe. I'm telling the truth, I swear. I didn't have to come here. Why would I make things up? <clears throat> what else did Rebecca say? Are you sure this is about Lawrence's shooting and nothing else? And what else is that? If it was anything to do with yesterday, we'd know by now. Don't worry, this is good news. You're right, of course. Does this mean Andy will be exonerated? Fingers crossed. Even if he is, we've no way of getting in touch with him. Good old dog, always looking on the right side. Well, obviously, we'd find him eventually. I'll nip around and see Vic, tell her about it. I want to finish this. This is what we've been waiting for. Let's not get carried away until we know exactly what Lachlan said. You, again? Hi. I'm, uh, not stopping. I just need to check into the B&B. Can you afford it? Oh, do you can. In the unlikely event it pay. Why should we do you any favours? Who's asking for favours, like? If I want to max out on my credit card, that's up to me. Well, if it's what she wants, business is business. Right, try it, then. Oh. Get the door, please. That woman gets more and more annoying every day. What did you tell them? <sighs> what could I say? I stuck to my original statement. Yeah, me too. Good. Well, then, this may not be as bad as it seems. Where's Lucky? They've charged him with attempted murder and perverting the course of justice. What? No, they, could, they can't have. I mean, well, I need to see him then. He's been taken to the cells. He's due in youth court tomorrow morning. I'm sorry. You were supposed to look after him. I'm as shocked as you are. He explained it was an accident. He struggled to get the gun off Lawrence and he panicked when it went off. Well, why didn't they believe him then? Thanks anyway, Ronnie. Cheers. You should be grateful. He could have dropped you and Dad in it. You think I'd ever put my interests above my son's? I've so far. Rebecca! He would have owned up straight away, but for her. You think I don't know this? If I could turn back the clock, I'd... Can we just try and keep calm? I'm sure, as long as the court believes his version of events, we'll be fine. And what if they don't? I mean, Lucky could spend years in jail. Rebecca's right. I, I should be taking the blame. That's not what he wants. Why not? After everything that I've put him through. <laughs> Why has he done this? <laughs> 